In September is Atrial Fibrillation Awareness Month, more commonly known as AFib. It is an irregular, often very rapid heart rhythm, and 5 News reporter Kayla Davis shows us how one device may help those who suffer from the condition. According to the CDC, around 12 million Americans will have AFib by 2030. While there are treatments, patients who can't take blood thinners are at a much higher risk of having a stroke than other patients who can. That's why cardiologist Dr. Hussam Hawamde began using the Watchman FLX implant device to help those AFib patients. I would really like not to die from a stroke. Elaine Bletcher has dealt with atrial fibrillation for the last 20 years. I've had to have three ablations of my heart um, for AFib and for SVT. The condition has caused her pain, not just from her own battle. My mother also had AFib. She died from a stroke after many small strokes. A-fibrillation or AFib causes problems because blood clots can form in the body and travel to the heart or brain. But Dr. Hussam Huamde offers a procedure that he says can change the lives of AFib patients. I'm the first person and the only person currently providing these kind of services in the River Valley and I'm very excited to be able to help uh, all the patients who did not want to leave their hometown. The quarter-sized device is inserted into the heart through a catheter in the groin to prevent blood clots in place of blood thinners. He says it's an alternative because patients on blood thinners have to be incredibly careful because a simple paper cut can cause profuse bleeding. We previously had to have a very difficult conversation of, it's clearly not safe for you to be on blood thinners, but stopping blood thinners will increase your risk for having a stroke and we finally no longer have to have that conversation. Now we offer them a Watchman device, and it's like the biggest smile when they come to the office and see me and say, thank you. And Elaine couldn't be happier. Now, six months later, I am off of all blood thinners, and I am taking one baby aspirin a day. That's the first time since 2004 that I have been off all blood thinners. So this, is a major, major thing to uh, have accomplished. Elaine's goal is to live her life to the fullest potential with no fear of her condition. I am looking forward to being able to wear a skirt or shorts again because my legs were so bruised that it was embarrassing because people would look. <laughs> I can go out and ride a bicycle. I can go hiking again. I can just go walking without fear of falling. Implantation of the Watchman device is a one-time procedure that takes about an hour to complete under general anesthesia. Kayla Davis, 5 News.